Hi, I'm Cindy Robertson, and I am going to be showing you how to embellish this chair. Uh, I'm doing this chair for the Lower Adirondack Regional Arts Council, and uh, it's called Have a Seat. And what it is is they, in, in, uh, you have to apply to get a chair. You have a proposal. My proposal for this chair is to do a, to have it feel like you're sitting in a garden with um, birds sitting with you because um, I love birds and I love the outside and uh, it always makes me feel really peaceful and I'm not a great gardener I would love to say that I am but I'm not <laughs> um, but I love to paint them and so this is my proposal for this chair and uh, and what happens is that uh, they get displayed around Glens Falls area around the downtown and then auctioned off to support uh, the Arts Council in the area and to help with scholarships and things like that. So it's a great project and I hope you um, join me for the process of transforming this chair. Um, I don't exactly know how I do it. My process in, in painting is I kind of be with it for a while and uh, <laughs> and try some new things and then um, some things work and some things don't, and that's just the nature of art. I'd like to show you a little bit of what, you know, my ideas for this chair. Let me show you the blank chair first. This is what we get. Just a blank Adirondack chair. It was made by the BOCES school. Um, I don't know. Anyways, and you'll see that it has a lot of all these screw holes and stuff. I wasn't expecting it to be so raw like this. So. One of the first things we're going to have to do is fill all those holes, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so again, this is the chair that was given to me raw, and I'll show you the angle of it. I'm not sure how I'm doing all of it yet. Again, that's the back. So the whole thing will be embellished somehow. Um, and just to give you an idea, like these are custom canes that I did years ago. Um, so I will be using some of the same kinds of um, medium to do it. This is a sculpting medium. Uh, it's actually Bondo that you would use on your car because canes fall all the time and, um, and they need to be very hard. So that's what I did. So some of the birds will be, uh, I was gonna originally sculpt them, which is this, this is a sculpted piece that I did, and I'll show you how to sculpt wood later. Um, and, uh, and then I started doing this, I mean, that was, sorry, that was carved, carved out of wood, basswood for the head. And then the bottom is walnut. Um, and then some of the cane, you know, these ones have butterflies, so I'll be, at, you know, painting butterflies onto the a chair and flowers, of course. There's some orchids and uh, iris and stuff like that. So we'll have fun painting that later. Um, but for now, I'm going to show you what to do with prepping your chair when you get something like this raw. I love painting on wood. Um, it's, uh, it's a great surface to paint on. So we're going to use what's called... Oh, this is upside down. Plastic wood. Plastic wood is, um, it's easy to use because it's paintable and um, it dries fast, it dries hard, and it doesn't shrink. It's like some other, um... hello, I'm back again. Okay, <laughs> I keep turning it off. Uh, let's see. Okay, so basically some of these holes on the sides here are done with a finishing nail. And some of them are at the surface, like this one's kind of, you feel it, if, if, you, if you put your finger over it, if you have your finger over it and you still feel the nail, then that needs to be sunken in a little bit better. So um, we need to just tap it out. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. There we go. It's a better angle. So the ones that show, you want to actually... I'm just going to try to get a little edge here and just tap it, tap it lower. Yeah, you want to tap it lower so it's not flush with the wood because you want to be able to fill it. Um, so the plastic wood will fill it flush. And again, you want to do 
kind of small amounts. You don't want to get it everywhere because it's just not necessary. But the more base, the better your prep, which means all the, you know, even the, you know, um, that includes, you know, finishing the nails and uh, uh, gessoing or priming. It's the same, gesso is the same thing as priming. Like you prime a wall before you paint it with color, you would um, prime or um, gesso your artwork, including canvases. So, so basically the base, the, the best, the, your paintwork will look much better if your prep is, is, is the best. And some people don't really like all the prep work, filling holes and gouges and um, priming and things like that. It doesn't seem like, like maybe you wanted to skip that part, but um, it is a really important process if you want your painting to look as good as it does. So, uh, so don't skimp on that and take the time. Um, once we uh, have the, all my holes filled, I will um, also sand them down so that they're flush again. Um, and then and then we'll start on um, priming. <laughs> and uh, I hope you join me at, at the next level so you can see the process of this thing. And I will show you how to sculpt and paint and carve and um, embellish anything you really like. So. Thank you for being with me today, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.